Bonjour, ici Christine Lafleur, and I'm the proud designer of Scrapbooking with Me Boutique on Facebook. And I'm here to show you my July project that uh, we had a wonderful kit um, from Authentic Name Harmony. It's been such a long time I didn't do a jewelry box, so I decided to do one. And keeping in mind that in August kit it's going to be mixed media, so I'm planning to use all the leftovers from that beautiful kit that Edith sent us. I have to tell you, Edith has a wonderful gift to put kits together, and I know in August it's going to be a mixed media kit. So here we go. My sister-in-law gave me a few cigar box over the last uh, few months, and she gave me a tea box with this beautiful window. So I decided to use a few pages to do this beautiful box. Here we go. I use one of the paper. And this is, um, a, like I said, a tea box, but it's very dark brown, as you can see. And I use, of course, I went to my hard vault. I have many, many. <laughs> I have a few pairs of uh, Tim Holtz feet. And I use E6000 to glue them. And on the under, I just left it plain. I might, if I give it away, I'm going to, of course, write a note and or put my name or something like that and for decoration I try to keep it simple this was a wonderful gift from uh, Alexandra Ibarna we had an exchange of Tosimasi and she has these wonderful wonderful um, lace and so she gave me a few yards of them and I was very pleased and this uh, flat back pearls that I got from the boutique long time ago and this is at the front. I'm sorry for the glare here. I'm at the office. Uh, here you can see I used the, um, the flowers from the kit and the wood, the wood pieces. And of course I had to put some bling here and there. And these are also from the boutique. And the other side I use again the wood the veneer cutouts this is from the month before kit and of course i had to use the butterfly and little bling here and there everything you see here is from the boutique and those little beautiful butterfly so here we go i'm going to show you the inside as you can tell it was a dark wood and I decided to uh, use this, if I keep it for myself, my Venice lace box. So, of course, Alexandra gave me these beautiful uh, lace and she cut it with a die of mason jar. So I decided to keep it in this manner. And I have a white one like this, it's beautiful. And of course, the little leftover that I had from uh, our giveaway she uh, she gave it to me so I used this lace and this uh, lace that Edith carried in our store so I'm going to keep this one for special occasion of course and I had so much left over that I decided to make a couple of cards to put in the box and there it is you are capable of amazing things and I used the uh, the items from the kit and the month before, little birds and little hearts and those beautiful flowers, canvas flowers and I left it plain and another one I used one of the flowers from Alexandra find yourself a beautiful life full of music these are all items from uh, July, the July kit and I decided to, again, leave it blank. If you're on, I write a letter. It's beautiful. And I still have some <laughs> shimmer from the month before kit. Here's the inside of my box. So I use another page that I thought was absolutely beautiful. I didn't do anything much to it. I might accentuate it with glossy accent. I'm not sure yet. I painted with a gesso and spray a bit 
a flower from a wild ochre craft that uh, Edith carried. And of course here I used the, uh, some of the wood, uh, ch uh, wood veneer that she carried in her store and we had with the kit. And all around I used this yellow uh, paper and of course the flat back pearls and all the trimmings that I put outside of this beautiful box. So here it is. This is my July project for now. I have lots of leftovers that I intend to use for the August because like I said, it is a mixed media kit. I can't wait to have these products and uh, try my best to uh, represent Edith's beautiful bu uh, boutique. And uh, this is it. J'espère que vous avez aimé mon vidéo. Et à la prochaine. Bye bye.